Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, August 17th. This was supposed to be my weekend on. However, this morning I tested positive for COVID. Um, so it's like a crazy story. And in fact, before you see this vlog, um, I should have like a quick car vlog where I explain like why I haven't uploaded all summer. So my sister had like a backyard barbecue type thing where her and her husband eloped essentially and um come to find out like one of her husband's friends had covid like a few days before and he had hung out with him so he got it then she got it cody got it and then i tested positive today um i actually went into work started breakfast and as I'm, like, there, I'm just, like, thinking, like, I just had a hunch because my nose was stuffy and it was, like, new stuffy. And it was definitely, like, a sick stuffy. Like, sometimes my nose is just stuffy in the mornings. Um, and my throat it doesn't hurt, but it's definitely, like, annoying. And I was, like, I feel like I probably have it. And lo and behold, it didn't even take five minutes before that test showed two lines. So... I'm hoping for at least five days. I think on the fifth day I test, if it's negative, I test the next day. And if that's negative, I can go back to work. If I don't test negative on day five, I have to wait till day seven and test that. I have to have like two negative tests before I go back. At least that's what happened when a coworker got COVID like last month. Um, every time I turn around, the protocols change. Like when I told them that my husband had it, they were like, oh, you're good, no protocol. But I do know if I have it, I have to be at at, out at least five days. So it's a blessing and a curse because obviously I'm off of work for five days. But I'm also going to be sick. I don't know. This is the second time I've had to be off of work because of sickness in the last three months. Because if you remember my last like vlog before I took a hiatus, I had to be off for like a full seven days because I had such bad tonsillitis. Um... So, yeah, so Cody still, he went back to bed because, of course, he got up at 4 with me because I went to work at 5. So, he's still up in bed. I couldn't go back to sleep once I got home. Um, I'm sure in, like, a couple hours I'll be ready to take my nap. But, um, so, I, I laid in bed for a little bit. Then, finally, I just decided to come downstairs and watch my YouTube. I'm watching um, Jessica and Tyler Braun's Disney vlogs again because I'm going to Disney in a couple months. And... Whenever I have, like, a Disney trip planned, I always rewatch like, all of their Disney vlogs. I don't know why. I just really like to. Um, and I just had um, some mini bagels and a cup of coffee so I could take some medicine. I took a nasal decongestant and some ibuprofen because my head started to hurt. I got some liquid IV. So we can keep up with the hydration today. We're just going to try to kick this in the butt. But yeah, so I figured I'd start like a COVID vlog. I remember when the pandemic started, I was like one of the first people at my job to get COVID. Um, and that was when you had to be off for a full two weeks. So anyways, I just figured I'd do a quick, i do a COVID vlog. Whether this is like each day I have COVID or the whole five days I'm off. We'll see. I do know today on the docket, since I will be off, is try to get some more clients for my travel agency. If you want to book a trip to Disney, Universal, a cruise, a domestic trip somewhere in the U.S., I will have my quote request forms down below. There should be, there's different ones for like what you want to book. So I'll have each one down below. I need to edit and upload that video I just mentioned. Because obviously as a filming this I haven't edited and uploaded but as you're watching this it has already been uploaded so I gotta work on that but right now I'm just watching YouTube and playing a game on my iPad and just gonna have a lazy day luckily I got all of the housework done yesterday I did all of the laundry cleaned the bathroom everything is um clean so even like changed our bedding so luckily like we won't have any housework except for like keeping up with it but Anyways, I'm just rambling. Update since this morning. Um, what was I going to say? Um, pretty much just laid on the couch until uh, about 
and then I decided that I need to go upstairs and take a nap. So I went upstairs, took a nap. I took a long nap. Like, I didn't wake up till, like, 1.30. So that was nice. Then I got up and took a shower, put my nightgown back on. Then I came downstairs, had some lunch. I just made, like, peanut butter and jelly and some cotton candy grapes, which was delicious. And then I'm having a cup of coffee because I literally feel like I could go back to bed even though I took such a long nap. So, um, having a cup of coffee. I just bought the new Sims expansion pack. It's called Love Struck. And so, I'm going to play that. I'm catching up on Alexandra Rodriguez's vlogs. So I've been so behind. Because I honestly just haven't been on a very big YouTube kick. Like, I really only watch the Toast and Jessica Bronze videos. I always like to watch. But everything else, just I hadn't been excited to really watch. So... I've just been taking a pause, so I'm actually so behind. Like, I'm watching from, like, June. So, I'm getting caught up on her vlogs, and Cody went upstairs to take his nap. I'm waiting to see if I get, um, I ordered, like, instant mashed potatoes and some more tissues from Walmart Plus. Um, so I'm seeing, waiting to see if I get those today. If so, I'm gonna make ham tonight for dinner. If not, then I do have some chicken drumsticks I can make with some rice and stuff. I just am, like, feeling like a comfort meal tonight. So, one of those two options I will make. Um, but I'm just, I think my main symptom is my nose is stuffed up. Um, I definitely feel pressure just in my head. Like, it definitely just feels like a head cold. And I'm just really tired. Like I said, I feel like even though I napped for a long time... I feel like I could go back upstairs and take another one. So, um, but we're just gonna keep trucking along. We're watching the shrimp. Actually, the second one. And I'm so cold. I'm running the heat in August. I was like sweating, and now I'm like literally freezing. Good morning. It is Sunday, August 18th. And I am laying on the couch. Look at Gussie over there. I can hear Cody stirring. It's like 9 a.m. I'm going to be honest. I feel like absolute crap. I just keep... This morning, I just kept, like, waking up and falling back to sleep till about 8.30. And then I took a body shower to try to get all this out. And definitely have mucus, like, in my lungs and stuff. Took some Dayquil with a protein shake so that way I wouldn't get nauseous. I'm just so tired like even laying here it it took me like 10 minutes to finally get the gumption to turn on the tv i just feel like i'm really weak and i feel very out of it like i honestly feel like i could fall back asleep but i'm gonna try to drink some water to try to hydrate and that'll be my best bet is to stay hydrated i was gonna have coffee but coffee obviously depletes your hydration so I think I'll wait have one later if I drink enough water but I just wanted to come on and give an update I don't know how much I'll vlog today because I'll be honest I see myself laying in this position all day but hopefully the day core will kick in soon to at least take away some of the pain and then hopefully I can just feel even just a little bit better Good morning, it is Monday, August 19th, I want to say. I, this is technically day two, because I learned from my work that the day I tested positive is day zero. So, I know I'm out till at least Thursday, actually until Friday, because at my job you have to have two negative tests, but you have to test on day five. If day five you're negative, then you test the next morning, and if you're negative, then you can go into work. So I know I'm out until Friday. If I test positive on day five, which would be Thursday, I have to wait until day seven, which is Saturday. So pretty much we're banking on me being out pretty much all week. But I have plenty of EBT, so I'm not worried about that part, so I know I'll get paid. Um, 
I just hate feeling like this. The first time I ever got COVID was when the pandemic started. And my only symptom was I lost my taste and smell. And I had like slight shortness of breath. But other than that, I felt fine. And I had to like isolate for two weeks. This is so much worse. I don't even know. It is like I have a sinus infection. I have mucus in my lungs, I can tell. I did take Mucilex, hold on. Sometimes my nose will run so much that it will be like all of a sudden it's just dripping. Last night I went to sit up to drink some water and the pressure of sitting up I guess just all of a sudden snot just went like came right out of my nose. It's insane. Coughing up mucus. Other than that I've had no appetite. Yesterday all I had was toaster strudels. And some cotton candy grapes in the afternoon. And then I ate a bowl of mac and cheese and a bowl of ice cream. Today I've had toaster strudels and cotton candy grapes. And then I did take Cody to work. Cody felt fine enough to go back to work. And I got Starbucks on my way home. So I got this. I thought a hot drink would probably be better for the sickness. Even though I'm freaking like hot. Like I feel... That's the thing, it feels like I have a fever, but I don't, because I'm temping at only like 97, 98, but I like, I feel like I could have a fever. Anyways, so I found it on Pinterest, I looked up like hot drinks to order. It's a chai latte made with low water, with two pumps of brown sugar and two pumps of white mocha. I wish I could tell you if it tastes good, but I actually can't taste because of this being stuffed up I can tell you it's very sweet so if you like really sweet drinks I would get it um but yeah I'm gonna go sit on the couch yesterday I slept all day I slept from like 9 30 at night to like 8 30 in the morning I'm sorry if I'm like repeating myself in this vlog by the way I woke up at 8 30 went back to bed at 10 30 and slept till like 1 1 30 Last night I fell asleep. I woke up at three and then couldn't go back to sleep for like a good half hour, hour. But then I did and I woke up actually to Cody getting ready for work at like almost eight. So, but yeah, I definitely probably see him nap in my future at some point. I'm just trying really to just listen to my body and like, you know, if I feel like I need to sleep to just let myself sleep. Because normally on a normal day off, I would actually do the opposite. Or even if I'm tired, I wouldn't let myself sleep because like I'm, I have like FOMO. Like and not wanting to sleep my days off away. But this time I'm really just trying to listen to my body and just going with it. Um, and I'm keeping up. Unfortunately, I have to take Tylenol because they say you shouldn't take ibuprofen with COVID. I don't know why. However, I'm not really supposed to be taking Tylenol because when I went to the doctor, my liver enzymes were high. And that was like the biggest thing is to stop, is to not take anti-inflammatories. But I just, I'd rather not have a headache and body aches right now, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to go lay on the couch. Just wanted to update you guys. Yesterday, I'm just, I was down for the count. But hopefully I'll be better in the next day or two. Okay, while I have a burst of energy, sorry, I'm watching, catching up on Alexander Rodriguez. I wanna put my chicken drumsticks in the crock pot. I meant to make them last night, but I had no energy where I was sleeping so much. Hold on, let me get my crock pot out. I have some chicken drumsticks. I meant to make these yesterday, but I just um, didn't get around to doing it. I have my pan preheating, cause I'm going to sear them before I put them in the... slow cooker. So... I think I'll just put these in a hot pan. And sear them for like maybe five minutes on each side. And then I'm going to hold on just one second. 
Then I'll put them in my slow cooker, put the seasonings on them. And then I don't know if I'll do, I don't like to put barbecue sauce so early on in the slow cooker time just because I feel like sometimes when I do that, the sauce can get burnt almost. So I might just cook them with just the seasoning and then add barbecue sauce towards the end. But yeah, I just, I kept, found a recipe, it was like really easy, it's like paprika, garlic powder, and barbecue sauce, but I do remember that I have this hot honey seasoning, so I think I might put that on the chicken as well, but I definitely have, one of the other recipes also called the cumin, and I think I might like that too, so maybe I'll add just a touch. I not as much as what the recipe is calling for. I I really look for it. I don't want to try to use five spice. That's ginger. I must have cumin. Oh my god, it was right in front of me. I'll probably put just a little bit of that. Um, and then, yeah, it should be pretty good. And then I think I'm just going to make like rice, like rice peel off. I have like lots of boxes of that in the cupboard. So I might make a box of rice peel off and then I have um, peas and carrots or like a stir fry mix I can make. I'll probably do the peas and carrots or I'll do corn. I might have a can of corn. Um, so far I've been feeling okay. I've just been laying on the couch catching up on YouTube. I played Sims but the heat of my laptop was making me sweat like crazy so I'm Taking a break from that, so I was playing on my iPad. Um, I am starting to get sleepy, so I'll probably go take a nap soon. I'm also feeling like I'm getting hungry. Like, here's the problem with me having no appetites. I'll get hungry, but nothing sounds good to me, so I don't know what I'm going to have. I do have some tomato soup in the cupboard, so if anything, maybe I'll just have some tomato soup with a grilled cheese or something. I don't know, we'll just see how I'm feeling, but I'm just so tired. But as much as I'm sleep, I've slept, I'm so shocked that I'm sleeping, like I'm as tired as I am, but I think it's just my body's way of fighting this infection. It's just crazy how different this COVID time is, because last time I had COVID, it was just so, like, I really wasn't sick at all. This is, like, really kicking my ass. Alright, here's the chicken. So, I did end up putting barbecue sauce on it. Um, but I seared the chicken, put it in there. I mixed two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Like, not even a teaspoon of cumin because it's strong. I did, like, a teaspoon or so of that hot honey seasoning, salt and pepper, and then I just shook it up until it made like its own rub put over the chicken and then I just put it says to put half a cup of barbecue sauce now and then you're gonna brush a cup later but we'll just see and I have it on high for four hours so that should give us just about to dinner time all right it's like 3 30 now so and I'm feeling hungry so I decided to do an apple with peanut butter and these skinny dipped. I love these. I can only ever find them on Thrive Market. But they're like guilt-free Ghirardelli squares. They're really good. Um, so I'm going to eat this. I have about like a half an hour till, I'll, till I will go get Cody. So I'll probably just keep watching YouTube and yeah. I did attempt to nap, but for some reason today I could not fall asleep, so I guess today my body's decided it doesn't need to nap, but I'll go get Cody around 4, he gets let out early, but if not, oh well. I might go early just honestly for the fresh air of it all, um, just so I can like sit in the car with the windows down or something, get some fresh air. Um, Miles! Miles is here. Hello. Hello. He loves his mama. 
just popping on here. I just got the, just got back from getting Cody. Um, I got to put my hair up here in a minute. Um, but I just want to show you guys I got these postcards that I can send out to people for my travel agency. So if you guys would want one, these are for Disney Cruise Line. If you guys want a postcard, it just like shares what's included in a Disney cruise. Um, I'll have like a Google form down below and I'll mail you one. Um, I also got these flyers, 2025 vacation packages now available. So I can put these up, you know, everywhere that would let me put one up of course so anyways really exciting if you want one of these i mean this is just a flyer so i don't you want one of these but um <clears throat> yeah like i said i'll have a google form down below also i have a weekly newsletter through my travel agency i'll just send like um current promotions good deals i find tips and all that um i can have the sign up link down below for that as well and I also recently made a website for my travel agency. So that's down below. It's travelwithmelissacaitlin.com.